Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a method of capturing the Wi-Fi password other than using a brute force attack or a wordless attack. Now this attack method is called an evil twin attack and we will be using a tool called Flexion to execute this attack and automate the whole process for us. Let's dive into the video. So once again, the attacker machine will be Kali Linux, which is us. And the victim machine this time will be the iPhone. As you can see here, I'm connected to the target network, Netgear 47. And I have internet access, as you can see. Now let's see how we can launch the attack using Flexion. First, let's download Flexion. I will include the download link for it in the description of this video. All you have to do is simply click on the link below and download it. I already have it downloaded in here. If I go to files, in the downloads, and I have Flexion as a zip file in here. After you download it, navigate to where the file is downloaded. I'm gonna double click on the zip file. I'm going to hit extract in here. And I want to extract it in the downloads, so it's already selected in here. I will hit extract in the top right. And the extraction completed successfully. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna close this again. And here is the file that has been extracted. Now I'm going to open Terminator. And let's navigate to the Flexion directory by doing cd downloads forward slash Flexion. I'm gonna press enter. Then let's do ls to list the files. We can see here we have a file called install. So let's navigate to it by doing cd install. I'm going to do ls again to list the files in this directory. In here we will need to run the executable that's called install.sh. To run any executable in Linux, we will do dot forward slash and the name of the executable file. In this case, it's called install.sh. I'm gonna press enter. And as you can see, it's saying permission denied. So if you see this, you will need to do this command to change the permission to make it an executable. So chmod plus x and the file name is called install.sh. I'm gonna press enter. Once that's done, I'm gonna run the command again. Dot forward slash install.sh. I'm gonna hit enter. Let's give it some time to install. And the installation has been successful. If you see an error saying that pirate is not installed or any other error, please follow the commands that I will include in the description of this video. If you don't get any errors, then you are good to go. Now let's go back to the Flexion directory by doing cd dot dot. I'm gonna do ls again. Now this time we will need to run this file which is the actual program. I'm gonna do chmod again to change the permission to make it an executable. And a cool feature about Linux is that it will auto-complete the name for you if you hit the tab key. So if I type flu and hit the tab key, it will automatically complete the name for me. I'm gonna press enter. Now I'm gonna run the executable again by doing dot forward slash flexion, press enter, and now Flexion is running. Let's choose our language. For me it's English, so it's number one. Hit enter. Flexion will automatically run arrowdump-ng to scan the networks for us. So I'm gonna do one to scan all the channels. And as you can see here, a separate terminal has been opened, uh, scanning the network around us. I'm gonna do control C to stop it. And as you can see, it will list all the networks around us. For me, the network I'm targeting is this, Netgear 47. So I'm going to type its number in here, which is 22. Press enter. In here, it will show us information of the target network. It's also asking us to select an attack option. I'm going to use host APD, which is number one, because host APD is proven to host a faster and more reliable connection. So Flexion will use host APD to start our fake Wi-Fi with the same name as the target name that we selected. I'm gonna do one, press enter. Now, as I mentioned before, Flexion will need a handshake from the target to make sure that the password that the victim will enter is correct. 
I'm gonna press enter to skip saying that I need a new handshake I'm gonna choose pirate which is one now there are multiple ways to get the handshake we can deauth all the clients either by using the airplay-ng or the MDK3 or we can deauth a specific client on the target network both are great for me I'm going to do one to deauth all the clients another two windows will appear first window is the aerodump-ng which will try to capture the handshake while the second window is the airplay ng that will disconnect the victim from the network as you can see here WPA handshake has been captured I'm gonna go back here do one press enter now let's tell Flexion to create a certificate for us by typing one next step is to select the web interface as the option for the attack I'm gonna do one to select it now in here we can select any type of login page that we want so this page will appear to the target once they connect to the network for me I'm going to choose number 27 which is a Netgear login page in English because my target router is a Netgear router so it will be less suspicious for the victim I'm gonna press enter now Flexion will start everything for us including setting up the DHCP server the fake access point the DNS server, a web server and so on now the attack is running let's go to the victim machine you will see that we will be disconnected within seconds we see another network with the same name I'm gonna press on it trying to connect once the victim connects a really nice login page will appear asking for the passcode if I zoom in a little bit it will look very legit as you can see the victim will enter their password trying to get internet access and when they hit confirm Fluxion will compare the password that they entered with the handshake that we captured earlier to make sure that it's correct if the password is not correct Fluxion will not let the victim have internet access now let's go back to the Kali machine and as you can see we have a new window here saying that the password has been captured let me make it a bit bigger you will see that the password is here iccar482 and the password was saved in this location hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this